All right, I, it's Monday, and I'm back on this. Um, the clay, the light over the clay was off when I came down, and it's going to take, uh, well, it's starting to get soft. I made a, a board to hold my clipboard so I can put my reference on it and have it on my stand. Uh, I'm doing an old man, so I got some of these il illustrations off the web. They're uh, 3D prints. And I've got uh, a face of an old man right there. And uh, I, love, I love these 3D prints because it shows you a lot more detail than you would get even with a, a photograph of a real person. So that would help me a lot. Yeah, let's see what else. Yeah. So this looks like something Alex Oliver did. Uh he's a incredible artist down in uh Brazil. Probably one of the top sculptors in the world, I think right now as far as realism goes. But uh anyway, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to get this started. Um, so, time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe click the bell and make a comment in my videos and check out my instructional DVDs which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. All right, I've attached aluminum foil to the uh, armature just to take up space. It's better to take up a room with aluminum foil and take it up with expensive clay. So now it's just a matter of adding clay to it. I'm making him bent over because he's old, arthritic, from years of battle, but he's a warrior who doesn't give up. I got to remember my sculpting thing is on a turntable. <laughs> I got this skull that I got from a, a gas station. It's one of the skulls that y you can hang from your mirror. I think there's a hole up here where a string was. I took that out, but the skull is pretty darn good. And it helps. Everything helps. It was well done. And that was a well done skull. I've been, been trying to find more of those, but uh, they were sold out in no time at all. It's probably around Halloween that I got it, I think. A couple of years ago. All right. Establish the center line. I got off of it. There we go. And the halfway point. 
which I've already plotted out on my base. I'm going to just stick these on there just to see what they look like. They might be too big. Whoop. The eyeball came out. It looks kind of funny, but, you know, what the heck? I'm game for anything. Once. Maybe too big for the figure, so I don't know. We'll wait and see. Sure, I like that yet. trying to decide what kind of beard to put on them. Call him Big Ear Jorgensen. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to put the ears on just to 
get the feel of what it's going to look like. And old men, their ears grow bigger than their young men. Well, I like where this face is going. It's it's caric caricatured because of the wideness of the eyes. That's what's throwing me off right now. But I'm liking how the character's going. Um, again, I've got to get the upper part of the body done. I'm not sure whether, I, I don't know what I'm going to put on him yet. If I put any clothes on him at all. Uh, that i got to come make a decision on. But tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through on uh, the internet and look at old men's eyes, weathered eyes, and see what I can come up with. Because um, certainly that's not the way the eyes are going to turn out, but I've widened the skull and I've uh, worked on the uh, chin and everything, although that doesn't matter because once I put the beard on, all that goes away. So, I just wonder what it's going to look like with a beard. Let me just do a little experiment real quick. I know it doesn't look like a beard, but I'm just curious. <laughs> it's interesting. I don't know. That's just trying out something. Anyway. Anyway. Well, I hope all of you had a great fourth, uh, those of you in our country here. And uh, I went out on the porch. There were no fireworks this year and no parade in our little town. And uh, went out on the porch because I heard a lot of fireworks going off in the neighborhood. And it was up over the, up behind the trees, so I couldn't see a lot of them. But off in the distance, I heard a group of guys obviously, who had imbibed a little bit of uh, spirits, singing, take me home to my, let's see, old Virginia, take me home to old Virginia, or something like that. Anyway, it was just, it was funny. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.